Hi, I'm Matt from The Last Drop of Ink, and in this video I'll be covering the custom integration between Magento and eSeller Pro. So before we continue, who am I? Um, that's me there. I'm, my name's Matt Ogborn. Really, really nice to meet you. Um, I've spent the last decade working with marketplace businesses. Uh, I'm a former employee of eSeller Pro. I'm a consultant to some of the largest marketplace businesses in the UK. I do specialize with bespoke integrations between software products, and I'm also the founder of Last Drop of Ink, where the motto is e-commerce in plain English. Now, a quick note here is that all trademarks and registered trademarks are properties of their respective owners. And at the time of this video being created, I'm not affiliated with eSeller Pro nor Magento Commerce. So the best of both worlds, and this is the best of both worlds when it comes to eSeller Pros and Magento. So eSeller Pro is highly capable of dealing with complex inventory. So that's flat inventory, that's, that's kits, that's variations, uh, the marketplace, stock control across multiple channels, and standardized order processing. And then when it comes to Magento, Magento is the industry standard. It's SEO friendly, it's feature rich, and you've got absolute control over the way which your business appears on the internet uh, as an e-commerce entity with Magento. Now, there are four corners to this integration, and I'll cover those with you now, and also go slightly deeper on the next slide. So, let's start with the first, the pivotal corner, which is inventory. And in eSeller Pro, you're able to manage complex inventory, and eSeller Pro still remains as your single inventory data source. Okay, so that means that you can manage categories, uh, attributes, pro uh, c custom fields as you may know them by, uh, and it goes hand in hand to what the rest of your business is doing uh, as far as the other uh, sales channels which you're using. The, the next corner is stock control, and again, this is controlled by eSeller Pro, so that if you've got 10 in stock, then we'll keep Magento updated, and the same for the pricing, and this connector is channel profile compatible, so that when you sell an item, uh, then uh, eSeller Pro will let Magento know the, the, the stock and price update as well, and this is controlled in the connector as well. The, the bottom left-hand corner is order processing, so that your orders which occur in Magento in one or more Magento stores or one or more Magento installations, that they, they come back to the order processing element inside eSeller Pro so that you've got a single order processing screen, you can keep your existing process processes and you can apply courier rules as needed to your Magento orders. And of, of course as well, the, the last corner is order updates. So when you mark an order as being shipped inside eSeller Pro, if there's courier and tracking information, then this is passed back to Magento so you can keep your customers informed. Now let's look at this a little bit deeper. Okay, so we can see that we've got eSeller Pro on the left and we've got Magento on the right and in the middle is the connector and it's the connector which allows both pre and post data processing we'll, and we'll look at that um, in a, a little bit more depth in a few minutes too. So that on the left hand side we can see that eSeller Pro is responsible for our inventory. So that's flat inventory, so that's items which have no variations complex variations, uh, kits, um, and other inventory types within eSeller Pro. Stock updates, so that's the stock levels and your pricing is controlled within eSeller Pro. Also order processing, like I said, the, the orders will come back to eSeller Pro and it will go through this standardized order processing uh, inside eSeller Pro. And finally, order updates, so your courier integrations and however you ship your orders, basically when you mark your order is shipped, it comes back through the connector and then updates Magento. And then on the right hand side of the screen when it comes to Magento, the, um, in the product catalog, is that this connector supports simple and configurable products. Now, if those don't make sense to you, that if in, very, uh, in very plain English, that a simple product is an item which has no variations, and a configurable product is an item which has variations. So that could be size, color, model, type, design um, in there, and attributes, that, that may be not be a name which you, you're aware of. Uh, attributes basically means 
custom fields. So if you're used to custom fields in ESR Pro, then these are passed across the attributes. And if, you, if, if you're coming from Magento and want to use ESR Pro, then attributes mean custom fields back in ESR Pro. Then Magento is also will show the latest stock updates uh, and prices in the front end or in whichever store view which you've got. Uh, any new orders which are collected uh, or, or, or sorry are made by customers, then they're passed back through the connector to ESETA Pro for processing. And then when there's an order update, it comes back from ESETA Pro through the connector to make the order update in Magento. And again, if, the, if there's query information available, then it will add that as a shipment uh, to the actual order, and then the order will be marked as complete. So let's go a little bit deeper in here, is that because this connector sits between ESETA Pro and Magento, that it can see all your product data and it can see all your order data so that we can then process pre, so that's before it gets to Magento or before it gets to Isola Pro and we can make custom requirements to suit your business, your individual business requirements. Now here's a couple of ideas which uh, have come up already. So number one, automatic category creation so that you can manage your product categories inside eSeller Pro. And again, that makes sense to do that. So that if your inventory data, which it is, is the, your inventory data source is eSeller Pro, that you assign categories to products inside eSeller Pro. And then when you send them to your Magento store or stores, that then they're automatically created for you. When it comes to attributes that are all custom fields, as you'll know there's an eSeller Pro, then they'll, um, there's a setting which can be enabled for you, which will automatically create them in Magento. And of course, that we can set some defaults there so that they can be shown by default, or you may want them not shown by default, and you can go through and individually pick those. And of course, you can then add them to attribute sets as you desire. The next is that you can also block certain custom fields from being created as attributes in Magento. Say that you've got very sensitive information, perhaps a supplier name or cost values being put into a custom fields group, that we can block that from actually being created in Magento. There's also support for groups pricing, so that if you're using customer groups such as trade, wholesale, or you've got special customer groups in there, that those can be supported and different pricing levels for those different groups of customers. There's also support for uh, tiered pricing, and uh, tiered pricing is basically uh, pricing based upon quantity. So if a customer buys five of a product, you can give them price breaks as well. And again, if, that data, if you've got that data available in custom fields, then that can be ported to Magento. Also, custom design and layouts on a per SKU basis is also supported. Again, if you know the layout name or, or the design layout name, that we can pass that to Magento and you get complete control of the Magento interface. What the customers see um, uh, on your website or websites can be controlled by eSeller Pro. And because it's in eSeller Pro, you can readily bulk update or import or pro uh, apply processing logic inside eSeller Pro click one button and then it'll be sent across to Magento for you. And of course, there is full third party plugin support. If the data field is available in Magento and you want it mapped uh, from eSeller Pro, that can also be supported. Um, in, in short, if you've got a customer requirement and the data is available in eSeller Pro and it's applicable to Magento, then it, it can be accounted for in this connector. So if you'd like to know more, um, you can find this more about this at lastdropofink.co.uk forward slash Magento. This connector is compatible with Magento Enterprise and community versions up to 1.7, which is the very latest version. Well, the, the very latest version is 1.7.02, um, and that version supports it, and it's backwards compatible all the way down to version 1.3, which is uh, a very, very old version. Okay, I do stress this is a live and working connector which is up and running with businesses right now and it does support multiple stores and it can support multiple installations and tailored to your personal business requirements. Um, so that's me over and out. Thank you ever so much for taking the time to listen to this video. Uh, if you'd like to contact me directly, uh, my email address is matt at lastdropofink.co.uk. Cheerio.